Yeah! Alright, so my hosting actually. This is so nice not having to deal with this. <laughs> there he is. Yep. Alright. Go right ahead, Dan. And thus me getting blasted in the ears there didn't actually affect the stream. Yup! And I was smart enough to mute the tab beforehand. Right. Uh, welcome to Voices in the Wilderness, a 13th Age adventure at a brand new beer o'clock time. <laughs> well, not here, but... In a brand new beer o'clock in most of the player base. It's always <laughs> beer o'clock somewhere. If you just yeah. believe in yourself. Oh, that's what I've been uh, doing wrong this whole time. When we last left our heroes, they were pretty much taking a boat from the capital of Twin Lakes to the city of Narohama. Uh, upon seeing a distress beacon, they ventured to a burning city, only to discover it was a very controlled burn. Sensing it was a blatant trap, they carefully went in, uh, saved the unconscious villagers, and disabled and knocked out Wolfric Stillknocked. From there, Delilah has gained control of the blaze and has brought, brought the city, the small town of Overlook back under control. Dan? Yes? yes. Is the stream live for you? Yes. Oh, it's on the Tinker Maybe. Tabletop channel, not the Rue Cinnamon. Oh, damn it. Got ya. C carry on. <laughs> new, new time, new channel. New time, new channel. Yeah. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock here. Please do change that. Same great uh, adventures. And do change that channel. Yes, please. <laughs> please adjust. Please do not show up at the old time and do change the channel. <laughs> it's new and improved. Now with more. Oh, it's probably corn syrup. <laughs> I got corn bits. Similar. I'll get that right next time, I promise. All right. You are in a no longer burning town hall. Uh, your adversary is knocked out. What do you do? Well, now that the place is not on fire anymore. Uh, still probably want to evacuate the villagers since this place does seem to be coming down. Or at least it was when the villagers and the battle was going on. So, so it yeah, makes sense Ferris, to get everybody Ferris, out. Ferris will carry their unconscious villagers out of the, out of the building. <laughs> That's right. Good, he'll bring this guy out. Or gal. And then s somehow uh, we'll tell Lissy to go get Wolfric, who's just laying there crumpled up against the wall. I guess we can bring him too. I mean, I know I said I didn't really care, but like, since he is alive. Eh. It'd really only be more of a headache if you leave him. All right. So you return pretty much out of this building. Uh, the villagers slowly are kind of coming to as the spell, pretty much the spell and days begin to wear off. Uh, do you do anything in particular about Wolfric or? Just leave him knocked out. Oh. We should probably restrain him, too. He is a still knock. How well can we actually restrain him? Former companion. <laughs> oh <enough>. my god. <laughs> I have been told. We haven't had one of those rolls in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Of 
pretty much you would see a villager come to and just be... What? What happened? What? What happened to the town? It's kind of, uh... You know, I had a better idea when I started talking. I remember... I remember us getting a Imperial order to evacuate and then... Nothing else after that. An Imperial order? Hmm. Yeah, some... Kinda... Kinda guard types came in and started escorting most of the people out of the town. Do you know where they were escorted to? Uh, I, I assume back down south towards the capital. Usually that's where they'll keep people when they're displaced. Out of character, was there any indication that we saw this on the way up? Um, I no, because... Wolfric saying something about like bringing the rest of the townspeople back if Nos went with him, but that was about it. Uh, you wouldn't have seen anything like that along the way. Whether that's because you kind of approached from the north and the most direct route would probably be along the south, or because this is not what happened, you're not sure. Oh, sorry, I thought we were coming from the south north. Well, you... The literal opposite direction, my bad. Well, you kind of you took like the you took the long way around. Okay. So, who who are you people? Why? What happened? Ferris just puts his hands in his pockets and whistles. <laughs> There's still two Ferrises. <laughs> and, then, and then that one Ferris. Is Excuse me. And now there's just one Ferris. <clears throat> you guys might want to tell him what happened. I'd, yeah, I mean, I just don't know how much we want to tell him about Wolfric. Like, I'm, I'm fully willing to blame it, all this shit on Wolfric, but I don't know. Say rogue wizards. The voice rogue, from Hunhau says in your ear. <laughs> but that works. I just don't want to say Wolfric in particular because I don't want him to try and kill this dude. It, yeah, that's... Oh Look, good, the fire it, yeah. department's yeah. on the way. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> But Ferris will just say, um, you know, we, we're not really sure what happened. We're taking this guy in for questioning. Uh, we're working pretty closely with the Imperial Library. Oh, oh, oh okay, your library people. That... I suppose that makes sense. You'd be able to have some sort of response team. Um, yeah, good thing, too. So, should... Where, where should... The few of us go, then. First kind of scratches the back of his head. Um, well, I'm sure... Head, head to the capital, I'm sure the rest of your... You said you said the rest, Imperial soldiers came in and escorted some of, some of your... The rest of your, your people out, right? Yeah, yeah, they... We pretty much took evacuation ships down to... They said back to the capital. Okay, well... Checking at the capital, I'm sure there's somebody there that's filing all, all the paperwork. Okay, well, I... See what boats are still available and... Take a trip back down. I mean, I don't... Hopefully there's enough supplies and things to gather up here. 
You're not... You're not taking anybody back, or...? Guys, we've got a boat. We could take them back ourselves. I thought we were going up north. We're already behind. <laughs> but we can't just leave them, I guess. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, we are kind of the good guys. We have we we do need to help the innocent. Well look, I'm sure Narohama can take care of these people too. Yeah, if we can get there. Yeah, so so okay, if we're gonna be if we're gonna be good people. You know, we, we like I said, we work for the library, we're on Imperial business heading to Narohama, if any of you don't mind heading north, then I suppose we could take some of you along. Pretty much he kind of looks and then looks at the the rest of the other few who are still knocked out and Okay, well I mean this I don't know much about up north, I mean I suppose it's better than just kinda being left alone here. It would be temporary and I'm sure we could arrange to book you passage from Narahala back to the capital if that Yeah, that would that would probably be better. I mean it's a, a longer trip, but I don't think anybody here is in the state to just pilot a boat down the shore. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll, I'll gather everybody up and gather up what supplies we can. We'll, we'll be at the docks getting getting some space cleared away for everyone. I have one question. D yes, yeah. You said everyone else was, you know, was taken away to, to evacuate. Why were you few left behind? As I said, we were... We were kind of just... We were just preparing the last little bit to go out. We were... We were the last group to be evacuated. And then suddenly just... Yeah, I can't remember much at all. It's not a big town. Was the place on fire when everybody was being evacuated? Do you know why they were evacuating everybody? I said, just... Just... Imperial soldier types coming in and rushing everybody out. Uh, it definitely, definitely wasn't on fire at that time. But, I suppose it looks like whatever they were worried about happening, happened, so... Well, I'm like... glad they were looking out for us. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, luckily, it also looks like whatever this was is over. I'm, I'm sure, yeah. As I said, usually... Usually you library types are good to investigate this stuff. Strange... I guess phenomena? Or... Weird. We're all about weird stuff. This is definitely the strangest thing that's happened here in a while. We generally just resupply ships and fish. Well, I'll, I'll see what remains in the town, and then get there at the next few on your ship. That's nice. And he pretty much will go about that. Other question.
So, uh, team huddle as we get back to the to the ship. Okay. Um, this is this is fishy as hell. No but, shit. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, why is there a huge cloud of smoke rising on the horizon? Did I miss something? Oh yeah, the whole town was on fire. Uh, we we fixed well, it. Except well, except it wasn't. Delilah fixed it. Yeah. It was kind of, but not really. But then it was, but now it's not. Hunhao is looking very confused at this explanation, but simply slowly nods his head. But um, how much time did we... We thought we had maybe a couple of days before Vaguna got back. I think it was a, a week altogether, but a then week, we... Okay. Uh, we're also taking the longer route there in the first place. It was the, the longer of the shorter routes. Because the longest route was through the river and all the locks. So we bought ourselves a little bit of time. But I mean, do we, do we want to look into this? Like, or should we just head straight to Narohama? I mean... What could we really investigate from there if the whole town burned down? It's more finding out where all the villagers went. Yeah, uh, if there Which was I a guess. fire, I'm going to guess that they're among the cinders? Well, no, they were evacuated first. But I guess we could just ask this only... guy and Ferris kind of pokes at Wolfric with his foot. Mm. Seems like he's one of the most info. Is he the one who set the fires? As this of now, asshole. he's pretty out cold. <laughs> then yes. Definitely tried starting them back up again. Then oh, I... Smoke. Shit. Uh-oh, what's wrong? Uh, one second, guys. Oh no, we've been left to our own devices. Uh oh Quick, everyone draw all over the screen. Emergency <clears throat> GMJ, what do we do? Okay. Hun Hao immediately gets nakeder. <laughs> what? I don't think that's possible. This is gonna be weird. <laughs> All right, I I lost sound there for a sec. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Uh, welcome back. All right. Repeat whatever was said after. <laughs> no, I got kicked. I'd rather not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pleading the fifth. Well, no. Um, I guess I'll never know because I think, I'm. I think, oh no! Wait, I'm not. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Uh, I think we're just is... trying to fill Hun Hao in. Mm. Yeah. Uh, as of now, Wolfric is still restrained and knocked out. Well, then I do think questioning him may be our best solution. I don't imagine there's much you'd be able to pick up in a burned-down village. Not unless Delilah could find anything else in particular. She pretty Ooh. much walks back and this kind of doing like the hand clap thing and enters and Somebody say my name. Got amazingly good timing. Yeah, I was wondering if there was anything else you might be able to uh, glean from the obvious ritual fire that was going on here. Other than that, other than pretty much I'd say it's generally used distraction tactics, unburning flame, it's... All pretty basic stuff. Essentially just maintaining the fire with magical energy rather than yeah, rather than it kind of eating away at the wood for fuel. Yeah, that's what I figured. And it wouldn't it wouldn't I mean, because it's not so advanced, I wouldn't say that it's I wouldn't say it comes down to somebody who necessarily required a whole lot of magical talent, but definitely, definitely is commonly used for the, for, you know, within, even outside of, say, Grand Adostrum's intelligence circles, it's commonly used by 
others in subterfuge and kind of sabotage. Hmm. Basically, everything that we've seen screams exactly the sort of thing this asshole would make a play for. It's the supposed imperial evacuation order before we got here. It has me a little worried. Hmm. Yeah, that's that is uh, that is a question. Well, your family, if I'm not mistaken, are skilled in the. Uh acts of disguise yeah <laughs> yeah yeah we've done I, that I can't imagine they this would be beyond their uh, reach to impersonate some imperial soldiers it does beg the question of where they took the villagers though exactly But we don't have much to go on to start tracking them. Boats don't exactly leave a trail. I mean, we know where they were supposed supposed to go, not necessarily where they went. And all the while, we still have a definite deadline. Uh, Gregory would pipe up, and it's just, yeah, it's, uh, it wouldn't exactly be good for us just to turn tail and go back at this point. Even if we took the most, well, even if we took the most as the crow flies roots. Well, I don't know. The crow flying is what got you here. I think you did the right thing by getting the villagers onto the ship. We'll be able to get them safe passage once we're in Narahama. Nice. Hopefully then they can find uh, their friends and neighbors, and if not, is there any way we could put them in touch with us if if they cannot find their, uh, if they have trouble? Pretty much... Once again, Gregory would look under. Well, Neverhome is a big enough city that it would have... that would, it would essentially have a, a message depot, kind of wizards sending... sending messages back and forth between the major cities, so we could have them send that there. So. Wait, no, I've got this. And Ferris hands one of the villagers a dove with a business card attached to it. <laughs> The villager kind of looks okay. Just, just let it go if you need me. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe write that uh, what the trouble is on the business card before letting the dove go. Right. Yes, that that is important. The villager just or okay. Just <laughs> And if and if you feel uncomfortable with that, we will check the message depot. But that dove will come straight to us instead of us having to track it to the message depot. So either way, it'll get to us. And Ferris winks and a little spark comes out. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> and then he walks away, never to be seen again. Perhaps, thankfully. Beautiful. Right. The villagers are gathered up. They have instruction. And you are ready to weigh anchor. What do you do? Take us away, Captain Lissy. I find a bucket. Okay. <laughs> right. If that's the case, then the high fish will 
will make its way up through one of the major deltas onto the riverway system. Into the rivers, it's less less trouble than the uh, less trouble than the open lake itself. Um, the entire imperial region is built around the fact that this this entire area is just dotted with rivers and streams, and there's definitely offshoots which smaller boats can. Uh, but the ones kind of marked on the map are all the major streams itself. Well, more than streams. You'd be at this point. You'd go past. You'd see trade vessels going up and down. It's it's a regular highway of boats. Uh, most, as you get to this kind of intersection here, most are choosing not to go to the open. Most are choosing not to go into the open lake and just taking what would have been the long route around. And at this point, night is falling, and there starts to be a, a gentle rainfall. And as you pull up into, as you drive forward, you start to see the sign of larger buildings. And you, and you well, I guess it wouldn't be sailing, it'd be using your fun little, once a drill, now an engine. Hey. Trenjin. Needs is must. To go up into the city of Narohama and you see well this is this is a stranger sight than you'd seen before. This is less orderly than than the capital of Twin Lakes. Less extravagant than Grand Adostrum, but there's still there's still something a little bit flashy about the city that's built between this large river. Uh, you see buildings that go up stories. You see uh, you see along the lines of the river bank more tributaries that kind of go in between buildings and uh, line out and the small ships going back and forth. Uh, you see along uh, dockyards in front of a big building, a bunch of little ships as if they were market stalls with people coming back and forth, buying either groceries or food. Uh, in the darkness, you see uh, what look like along the side of some buildings, magical signs glowing with neon. This is essentially a strange, if this were our world, a mashup of Shanghai and Venice. Welcome to Narohama. But first, somebody else has been. Malkesh, what have you been up to? Oh, you know, hauntings, general issues like that, soul migrations, the usual. Most recently, trying to chase down a dog who stole Bruno's leg. It's, uh, it's hard. It's a hard life. <laughs> so you did have to briefly... You did have to briefly split up from the party again to you give your employer an update. I what didn't. Did you, what did you tell him? Um, that personal issues were interfering with the actual mission, but that things were going uh, relatively well overall. The and Malkesh's kind of standard optimism. He doesn't seem that bothered by the fact that Orlando basically walked the fuck away. <laughs> And you would then be kind of questioned about the fact that there was a potential for multiple powerful souls, and at least two of them are still alive, and one of them is suspiciously missing. Yeah, about that. Uh, we're working on it?
kind of you see you would have seen the impatient creak of that kind of bone tower as it twisted around and kind of the shadow has changed in the room and your employer would then essentially say i think you're going to have to take a more direct approach well, you know, I'm, I'm much better at that than all this skulking around kind of stuff. I mean, I'm here to fix problems, right? And he actually would give you the ability to kind of beat the party to Narohama, so to speak, using that necromagic. Yay, grave travel. Mm-hmm. with the instructions to get the plan back on track. That the concern that there's, that the, well, that one of the most dangerous magical artifacts on the surface of this continent is getting ever, ever so closer to being a viable tool of destruction again is something that the Lich King is very concerned about. I fail to see the problem here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can hash it out with him next time you meet him. Okay, um, um... That said, um, so approximately how much of a lead would I have arrived in Narahama? Uh, well, it would first have to be at this point, the Lich King doesn't have, isn't, isn't able to kind of just automatically know the plans party, but he does have some other deals in place with them and is able to do some tracking. So as he, it won't be an extraordinary lead, but at a certain point, pretty much I'd say shortly before the party just crosses into the kind of the border of the city. So after they leave, after they leave Overlook, sometime between then and now, uh, Malakash, you'd kind of feel the rumbling of grave dirt below you as you're pulled into the ground of Necropolis. And then you would surface in uh, what looks and feels and smells like a cart full of fish heads. I am never taking economy again, I swear to God. <laughs> but, uh, a merchant looks back and is like, huh? Mokesh has kind of flopped his way to the top and there's probably a bit of a flash and Bruno just kind of rematerializes and the fish throwing fish heads in all different directions as he does so. <laughs> and kind of just seeing this, the merchant just rah, rah, and starts running off just abandoning this cart of garbage. Nice to meet you! <laughs> but you are in a bustling city. Uh, it is nighttime. It, there is, once again, and this is not a city that is quiet at night. You can hear that maybe you've materialized in a back alley, but you can see not too far. There's numerous people going back and forth, back and forth along the riverside, built up to a urban-style dock. Uh, is, are there bridges that cross the, the river? Is it like kind of... You, you mentioned Venice. Yes, yes. Yeah. So there's... It's... There is less... There is... Of the main river, which is quite large, as it can accommodate multiple boats, there are a few bridges across there, but there's also... Uh, there's also other channels and dug out throughout the city kind of essentially creating that Venice-like effect. Uh, but you feel, at least with the sound of it, you're probably close to the main river. And you can see... You'd be able to see a bridge across. 
Malkesh kind of flops his way out of the bin, and Bruno just unceremoniously smashes his way out behind him, and he kind of brush the fish heads off. Bruno makes no attempt, but they're stuck all throughout his ribs. Um, and the pair kind of make their way towards the water. Malkesh is, is bright-eyed because he's not really seen that many big cities. That wasn't his upbringing. Um, Grand Nadostrum was pretty much the biggest city he'd ever seen. And though this isn't Grand Nadostrum, this is pretty impressive in his mind. Uh, hmm. The settlement ain't got nothing on this currently. Um, so he would walk down and basically find one of the bridges just to look out over the river and see the boats coming in. Not aware, obviously, that anyone's coming by. Meanwhile, also, I should note, now would be a good time to change the music if you have. Yeah. Uh, as you, the party, proper, you're pulling in, and pretty much as you pull in, Lissy has to kind of slow to a less cruising speed. At that point, pretty much you see a few ripples around the side of the boat. Almost, and very, very suddenly, a uh, trio of merfolk appear from the water and start chipping barnacles and debris off the side of your ship while the other holds uh, what looks like a bucket with coins out. Hey! No, no thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. We don't need any of that. <clears throat> you sure? It seems like they're doing a good job. No, you don't. No, you don't understand. No, uh, hung out. No. <laughs> It seems kind of unwarranted. Mm -hmm. Just, just don't make eye contact. Just don't look at them. Throw them some coins. <laughs> so roll the windows the up. Light to change. <laughs> Here. Pretty much, Ed. Soon as you throw the coins in, one would, one would kind of look at Nastasia and then nod, and then they would all kind of resubmerge underwater. Why did we give them money so early? They didn't... they barely did anything. Yeah. So we've gotten Malkish's thoughts on the city. How about everybody else? Where's your mind at? Lissy is already locking down every bit of this ship that she possibly can. Nail everything to the ship so that they can't steal everything that's not nailed down? Exactly! Or the ship, itself. <laughs> Paris is pretty excited just because this is his kind of town. It's kind of that seedy underbelly. Um, kind of similar to Guildholm and everything like that. Uh, very you know, just knowing the right kind of people and you can make a lot of money here. Hunhouse definitely... It's like the exact opposite because it feels so seedy and weird. Hunhouse definitely got some mixed feelings on the city. Not because he necessarily recognizes the whole seedy undertone. The architecture is nice, it's new, it's cool to see. But that's a lot of water and Hunhouse hasn't had a good record with the water so far. I'm mostly distracted by this still unconscious asshole. At this point, he'd probably have stirred, and wherever you have him locked up would kind of bang against a door. And at this point, the boat would cross under a bridge. You just hear from above, good kitties. No, back up, back up. No, Bruno, do you know how to swim? Don't look at me like that. Bruno, do you know? Oh, God. Malkesh jumps off over the edge of the bridge. As you just, you just hear somebody shout, you have so much to unlive for, don't. <laughs> Bruno doesn't jump so much as just 
belly flop onto the deck of the ship. Bones scatter everywhere. And with fish heads. Are we under attack? Is this an attack? This was not a very effective attack. Oh god. That thing cannot come onto this boat. It cannot. I think it already did. Oh. It's okay, already on the boat. At a bad angle, like not natural angle, and he's just literally legs straight up, head at an angle on the deck of the ship, and he goes, "Lissy, is that you?" Yes. Malkesh. Hey, Malkesh is back. Hey. Again. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the very small man. I think it went over there. Ah. Uh. On how gingerly picks up <laughs> the hand, you know, kind of got it in that grip between uh, just forefinger and thumb and carries it back to Malkesh, putting it down in front of him. I'm just kidding, that's Bruno's arm. Okay, hold on, I got this. And he kind of stands up and knocks his head to one side, and there's a sort of sickening snap of bone as his head repositioned itself. <clears throat> ah, much better. Well, that's not natural. Eh, ah, who's to say? Ah, so what have you all been up to? Checking out the sights. Ah. Uh, this, this is impressive, isn't it? Yeah. We just got here, though. I'm, I'm sorry. It's Malkesh, right? We've only met that's, them once. That's Dr. Malkesh, yes. Oh, doctor. Excuse me. He's not actually a doctor. That's his name. <laughs> Dr. Malkesh. It's very nice to meet you. Hunhao looks at Nastasia, then back at Malkesh, back to Nastasia, back to Malkesh, and just kind of that doe in headlights sort of look of not sure what's going on here. It doesn't get any better. Bruno, pick yourself up. You're making a disgrace of yourself. Come on. And you kind of see the bones kind of just wiggle, but they don't move. Ah, oh, you lazy fucker. I say Fer Ferris is holding like the femur and it starts wiggling and then he immediately drops it. The bones gradually start to reform, but there's just fish heads left on the deck where they splattered. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Pipe up and just be. Oh, I see you've been developing your abilities. Is that Delilah? No, no. Look down. The oh. only one down from you. Oh, it looks down. And he sees Ambois. Ambois! Oh, hey! Wow, you look good. How you feeling? Uh, probably similar to you. <laughs> Too much coffee, right? Mm, little. Is it just me, or has Lissy just so managed to get out of this whole lich thing? <laughs> pretty, pretty darn good. So far. Why do you think they sent Mel Cash back? Yeah. Lissy's in trouble. So wait, I thought you were you were I'm always in trouble. Doing doing weird soul stuff. Why why are you back? Oh here? I did the weird soul stuff. It's uh oh. turns out, um yeah, not curable. Okay. Uh, well, that's so unfortunate. I kinda kinda opens up his shirt and you can see there's just this like purple light emanating out of it. Yeah, so I've kinda had to learn to meet the neighbors. It's been a long process. So you just live with that now. Well, yeah. I, mean, I guess live isn't the right. They Anyways. live with me. Um, or un you know, it's complicated. But we're working it out. We have a deal. <laughs> they do some minor work. We figure out how to get them released. Uh, yeah, the problem is it's kind of like um, a dam, right? You know, you put a hole in the dam and all the water goes through, right? And uh, that includes me, so we got to do this bit by bit kind of a thing, you know? Wouldn't a dam break if all the water went through a hole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what he's saying. Oh. One of those souls in there is mine. <laughs> yes, I imagine you want to hang on to that. I'm preferential to it, yeah. So how have y'all been? Y'all look great. Ferris, you put on a little weight, or is that extra gold? I can't tell. It's, 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 it's just the girdle. Don't worry about it. 
Okay, okay. <laughs> Gunhild, you look heroic as ever. How are you doing? Oh, all right. How's the, uh... Fortunately, you know... Hopefully... How's the, uh, how's the wrestling been going? I know, it, you know, we had to leave a little bit suddenly, but... I was wondering if you stuck around for a little bit longer, if you decided to head out. No, unfortunately, boss called me back. You know how it is. Yeah, I suppose. My manager was like that. Nas, how Hopefully you doing? she's holding things down. Who is this, um, rather, uh, well, I guess tied up is the only way to describe it, individual you've got with you, a friend? Oh, he's, a, he's an arsonist. Oh, an arsonist. So he's part of the group now? Uh, different kind no, of No, not yet. Yeah. Bad kind of <laughs> oh, do we, uh, need to, uh, just dispose of him? Because we're like, there's lots of water out here. I mean, I'd prefer we didn't. And at the same time you say that, I'm saying not yet. Okay, okay, cool. Just let me know. Let me know. You know, I mean, he's got useful parts. I thought we talked about this, Malkash. i just saying, if they're not good, my, why have them go to waste? Bruno was a waste. We salvaged him. Where is that fucker? Hey, Bruno! No, no, not the ship! Bruno is just kind of slowly trying to put one of his legs back on backwards. No, the <laughs> other way, dumbass. No, come on. Get with no, it. See, that, that, that's a fish head, not a kneecap. He, he makes that mistake a lot. You think with you around, he would know exactly what a kneecap looks like. L listen, it doesn't transfer. I just gave him life. And I'll be honest, I wasn't really paying attention when I did it. I mean, it, it shows you really, if you're not doing, putting your whole heart into things, you know, you don't necessarily get the top grade stuff. But he's useful. He's still useful. You still have a whole heart? <laughs> yeah, it's still there. Is I it yours? The, uh... <laughs> hey, now, now that's, that's a personal question. Thank you very much. This is, Nas just kind of like looks over and guesses where the hole in your chest is and like... No, amusingly, I lost most of my liver because of that. Huh. Yeah, I can drink like hell now. Wouldn't that... Be the no, yeah. Nah, no blood. Oh. So where does... Where does... Where does the drink Listen, go? It's probably best not to ask too many questions when it comes to this. He's got a good I've point. I've kind of learned to accept it. Yep. I'm just going through some changes. I'll get through it. Has it held <laughs> me down? Spirit's still up there. In there. Somewhere. Several. Anyway, um, what's, what, what brings you all here? I, uh, actually, I guess I should really ask, where the hell am I? I, I don't know. I kind of got sit through a mass of graves and just kind of flung into a fish cart. <laughs> so, where oh, are we? That explains the smell. And the, <laughs> and the, the cats. cats! Holy crap, there are some cats in this town. Like, big Hun as you, Hunt house side-eyes, Ambois. Look, I... Not me. You don't see me running over just to grab the fish heads and not greet my old friend. I have well, control of my faculties. You still came as soon as there was the smell of fish. Malkesh goes over and kind of pets a book. Yeah, and Bois a gentleman. He knows better. Here, have a fish. <laughs> <laughs> he pretty much he'd just be, look at Han Hao, it's like, I'll remember this, and then eats the fish. <laughs> <laughs> just flashes in the corner of the screen, Ambois will remember that. Mokesh continues petting Ambois. <laughs> well, you remember my, uh, my sister that you thought was my mother that's really neither of those things? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah she's kind here of? somewhere. Oh... Did we ever figure out what she was? Yeah, uh, she's a homunculus. Oh. More importantly, I asked her out to dinner and we never did actually have some, so... Girl, you can't let her walk you know, away from me. It's true. She already teleported literally away from me once. That's <laughs> also, she caused a tremendous amount of property damage. Oh yeah, that's it. And she is composed of and grow stronger from absorbing shards of prophecy, so that's neat. Uh, oh. oh! 
Oh, That's you interesting. Told me the truth. Lissy's just in the background, like, no! <laughs> <laughs> she, had been, she had been throwing small objects at Ferris <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> she just jerks the helm. <laughs> So how's our uh, our own collection going? Record scratch plays. Can we just retcon what Ferris said and it can just be him falling <laughs> off of the side of the ship? <laughs> yeah, can we, uh... I mean, if Ferris you want to do that, I'm, I'm, record I'm fine to roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> can I roll to knock Ferris off the ship before he reveals anything? Yes, you can. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna roll dex to keep my footing. Yes, you can. For it. Uh, what? More importantly, should I use? Um, you know what? This would be reactions or dexterity. Why does this affect everyone else on the ship? <laughs> Anna's Ferris going over the side. <laughs> yeah, Ferris is comically <laughs> posted next to a. Aha! God damn you! <laughs> By one. Oh, you see what's no. going into you. It does startle Ferris enough that he can't complete his thought, however. Yeah, she's made up of, and then it's. Uh. Lissy, what's Lissy, what the hell is that? Absolutely nothing. Just I saw. I thought I saw something that in the harbor that might have. I, I was gonna. It. I was gonna hit a seagull. <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was a bit of floatsome, I felt. It was unnecessarily <laughs> dangerous. Look out, water squirrel. <laughs> Probably a damn cat. Uh, sorry, I'm looking. None taken, not really a cat. Ferris, for the love of God. So what have you all been up to? I mean, I, you all were in the city for a long time. Did you make any friends? We lost coin effects. Bureaucracy how, ate him. How do you... to, to paperwork. Oh. He got a promotion. So he didn't die in a fire. He did not die in a fire. I think it would be really hard to kill him in a fire, actually. It'd be yeah, a I'd suiting really twist of irony. That hasn't stopped me from trying. Once. Oh no, I'm lying. It happened. I've set him on fire twice. So we're here to find, um... The bandit queen, right? Cassie? Casey? Casey, yep. Yeah. Casey. Okay. And she's not your mother or your sister. Like, genetically, I guess she's, like, both? Uh, oh. Um. And we're trying to save her? I think we're trying to convince her to stop doing what she's been doing. Basically, her forces in the Empire are heading towards a giant battle that's not good for anybody, and we're going to try and make that stop. Okay. So wherever that leads us. Well, that's all great news, folks. I guess the question is... You know, are are you are you free now? Is... I'm on assignment. Apparently, I'm with you all for now. Till something else for, goes for Yeah, listen, I'm on call. What do you want? <laughs> I mean, just, all right, just you know, thought thought we had something is all. No, no, no. I'd much rather be here. It's just, just, you know, I mean, the, the whole soul thing. Apparently, it's really useful when you have a bunch of souls start losing their fucking minds and decide to migrate. You know, between half of the southern part of the continent. So. They gotta call someone in, and apparently I work like a vacuum cleaner. Listen, I'm not saying it's Wait, a what? dignified job title. I'm just saying it works. So, any, I, like half I, the southern part of the continent, like the. Well, not. I mean, you know, you really kind of have to be able to see them first to be an inconvenience. But let me no, just put like, it this way. That, does that mean a lot of people died? <laughs> um, listen, I can neither confirm nor deny loss of life for the southern parts of the continent. That would be spoilers. Oh. Uh, Good news! I didn't come recognize back any of them. Uh, oh. I suppose that's a good thing. 
Can we just rehash really, what's in the but... southern part of the continent for a second? Out of character. Dan. Yeah, I'm bullshitting. Go, go. <laughs> Too much into it. Okay. Alright, cool. Although there was like, like a mass extinction event. Oh boy. I mean, it, it is Mount Cash. It could have been two people and he would have considered it a mass migration. Oh, alright then. Okay. So wait, you're a soul janitor? Um, I like to consider myself a soul custodial engineer. Thank you. I thought you were a doctor. I am a doctor. And a professor. I'm working on becoming a professor. That could be harder, comparatively somebody broke Orlando's heart. Uh, mm. Again. Kind of I us. got nothing. But no, no, I'm here. I'm here. I'm, I'm definitely here. I'm. I took a sabbatical. I'm here to help. Where, where do you need me? Just point me in the direction of something we need to suck the soul out of, and I'm there to go. Do we need, have much of a need for soul sucking? Not right now, but you know. It's surprisingly eventually. useful. Eventually. I don't want to know how either of you know that. <laughs> At this point, Gregory would just walk in, see the skeleton here, soul sucking, put up a finger, and then kind of walk back out. <laughs> You're a smart man! Oh yeah, that's Gregory! He looks nice. He is nice! Uh, Lissy, you would see a public dock available. Excellent. Does it look like my ship's going to get stolen from it? It looks like as reputable as you can find. Fuck. Uh, this well, is, I guess it'll have to do. This seems to be where a lot of in and out travel is happening. It looks like a place you could both uh, rent a dock space as well as book some travel. Okay, we're gonna park up, guys. Anybody want to do anything before we do? Um, make sure say. that the guy that we have tied up in a box is still secure, maybe? Well, former companion, I thought. Right, but let's, like, what if we actually put him in a crate and just nail it shut, you know, drill some holes in? So you can breathe? No, what if they scream long and enough. find him? If he screams long enough, someone might actually try and help him. Okay. Oh, I can fix that. Bruno, sit. So you've decided to bitch better have my money, Wolfric. <laughs> <laughs> actually, maybe we should have a conversation with him before we go out into the city. Can can we just say that T just magically looks surprisingly similar to Mads Mickelson now? Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I agree with Hanau. We probably should chat with him before we, we bail. That sounds like a great idea. And we can feed him to Bruno if he doesn't say anything that we like. That Bruno. sounds like it wouldn't have much benefit to Bruno. He doesn't have a stomach. It'd be... He only drinks milk. <laughs> <laughs> I also it would be messy. I also want to point out that Lissy said anything that you like. It's true. Lissy, Lissy is of the I just want to hear what I want to hear variety of tortured. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't like what you're saying, you get fed to the monster. Doesn't matter if it's true or not, I don't like it. And now I mean Malkesh. We would beat him. First of all, Bruno does not eat. He only drinks milk. Does he 100%. chew? Um, he kind of lays in milk. a pool of it. <laughs> he, needs uh, much... he needs his calcium. Good for bones, yeah. That's probably the most disturbing bit of information we've learned about Bruno so far. Lays <laughs> <laughs> in milk. This sounds like a celebrity died. Like, yeah, that's yeah. why I keep helping you. Know? Lie in a pool of milk. An hour a day and I've got the healthiest shine of skin. 
Oh wait, it's it's skeleton. 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 I mean, how do you think I keep him so nice and shiny white? I mean, I wasn't gonna ask. I mean, do you bleach him? No, that would erode the structure of the bone. Come on now. Milk, it's the only way. This is we a very can, strange can conversation. Can we torture the prisoner now? Bruno doesn't eat people. I can siphon little bits that. of his soul away, solely a piece at a time. Do we yeah, need to works. torture him? I can, I can live with that. I was being sarcastic. I think that probably our best option would be to ask some questions first and see if we can persuade him into talking. Oh. Hana has picked up sarcasm. It's been on the surface world. <laughs> it's finally happened. It's all over now. Alright, well, if that doesn't work, we'll take a soul. <laughs> Alright. You you approach the tied-up Wolfric. Restrained in however you want. Many, many not. That's actually fantastic rope work. Well, thank you. Is there a ball gag involved, or...? No, I need him to talk, duh. Well, I mean, at first, and then we move <laughs> it to make him talk. Why does Ferris need enough? It wasn't a ball gag, it was just a rag. It's one of those masks we use for you the You all hid out in that, in that shop a little too long in Grand Nadostrum, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think she knew this before we were in that shop. <clears throat> anyway. Well, sister, it seems you got the better. Surprise! Wait, he's your brother? Yeah, yeah, about that. You asshole, why are you being so mean to your sister? Mukesh walks over and kind of kicks him in the shins. That, where did you come from? Uh, the bridge. You missed it. I am... I am just as kind to her as I am to other rogue brothers and sisters. So you're an asshole. More or less. And setting that village on fire was your way of getting back at your sister? No. You set a village on fire? We did say he was an arsonist. But a village, that's that's a grand arson, isn't it? Or am I thinking grand larson? Does arson have stages? Gunhill, what is it? Jared, I don't know. He set he set the place on fire. Well, gosh, kicks him in the shin. I bring them in. I don't. Yeah. Them. No, it was. No, it was a way to attract a group that have ancient for getting distracted by doing hero heroic deeds off their track, and I think it worked well. Oh, it worked out very well for you. Well, the execution at the end didn't. I really think I'm enjoying this sarcasm. You're getting surprisingly good at it. It's a slippery road. What does it slip to? I don't know. We don't need slippery roads. Technically, aren't we on one large blue slippery road? We're getting off topic. Hmm. This torture is more effective than I thought it would be. <laughs> hey. Answer the question. Oh, gosh, kicks him in the shin again. <laughs> I don't you think have we... to ask one. <laughs> oh, that's right. Somebody ask him a question so I can kick him again. Well, here's one. I was out abroad doing so many things for so long. At this point, I'm not even sure exactly. What thing I was supposed to be called in for, slash killed. Not that you would have been particularly discerning anyway. Do you know how it works? I'm, gi I'm given a target from the most highest of authorities, and then I execute on it. So you have no idea.
I know that you were amongst many. And you proved such so evasive. I was impressed. Suppose I still am considering my situation. Back given your current situation, you realize how easy it would be for me to just let you go and for them to never ever trust you again, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do know that, which is why the moment you let me go is the moment I'm going to resume my mission. Hmm, no, honey. Oh, I've quite come to terms with what's likely going to happen here. Just, I'm hoping you're going to make it quick. We don't do quick. Mokesh kicks him in the shins again. What are you going to do, bite my kneecaps off? Yes! Mokesh smiles and just razor sharp teeth from ear to ear. Ooh. I think he actually might do it. I haven't known him for very long, but he seems like the type who would bite your kneecaps off. He has an affinity for kneecaps, in fact. Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't joke about that. He might actually do it. I, mean, I could try to stop him, but... <laughs> oh, I won't. Oh, I won't. I mean, at some point, I gotta sleep, and he probably doesn't, so, you know. Mokesh cracks his neck from side to side, trying to be intimidating. All of a sudden, the neck just gives out and his head just flops to one side. <laughs> oh, that's... Pretty much at that point, Gregory once again kind of pokes in, sees that, and then just slides back out. <laughs> Ferris follows him out. He has amazing timing. Hunhao just reaches over and kind of holds Malkesh's head up for him. There's just sort of a... Click, pop, and his head just flops back into place like a bobblehead. Thank you! Yep, happy to help. Alright, what information are you trying to get out of Wolfric? Or what are you trying to do with him? No. I think he's kind of useless. Yeah. yeah. Actually, if he doesn't know why he was sent to kill me in the first place. Well, what about the villagers? Have we asked him anything about the villagers yet? Oh, yeah, the... that That's kind of important. Yeah, I suppose. You know, heroic and they? shit. You know, Gunheld, he's a lot like you. How's that? He's heroic. By trying to kill us. No, no, not him. Hunhow. The elf guy oh. with the... The... I suppose. <laughs> the other guy, guy with too. huge dog. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, God damn it, Dan! I, I heard it. <laughs> I heard it too. The long loin claw. Uh, oh, that part. Oh my. <laughs> At this point, Han Hao would sort of move up to Wolfric. Were you behind the authorities evacuating that town before the fire started? I have no intention of telling you anything else. Really? What? What on earth does, do you have to lose? Nothing. I'm good. I assume I'm about to be killed anyway. Oh. We're heroes. I mean, I certainly don't want to kill you. I can't speak for the rest of the group. Well, I don't I'd think I'd prefer I... you be alive. I don't think anyone here wants to see you die. I'm just not sure what they would per per see. Very badly and slowly. Right, what he said. All right, we're gonna need some some intimidation here. Oh boy, charisma. My weakest stat. Charisma. <laughs> It tries to look really big, but is still no bigger than Melkesh. Lissy just walks up to him. You know what Ock we like to do? We like to take things apart. <laughs> oh! We like to take them apart and put them back together. 
That's actually a really effective intimidation <laughs> tactic. <laughs> Lissy, get in there! The Tinker Earl! <laughs> Malkesh gets in there and he starts, takes a little pen and he starts drawing on the leg, just lines, incision points. Actually, Malkesh, do you, do, would you mind teaching me about, like, all the bones in the body? In a human body. Is he a human? Or is he an elf? We'll find out. Okay! Alright! He was very fancy, so I'm assuming he's an elf. <laughs> At least half. Well, I've always wanted to know if the bones from an elf are different from the bones of a... Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that was not a great roll. Not horrible, but not great. Not great. Uh, Lissy, do you want to give a little assistance, sir? Hmm? Lissy, would you, if you're assisting, do you want to roll a charisma yeah, check yeah. to assist? I will do. Yeah, good, good. No, actually, you know what? I'll let you guys do this one. Um, we're talking constitution? Uh, we're talking charisma. The uh, other one that starts no. with the C. <laughs> Although I mean, I can I can join in whenever. Damn. Turns out the two smallest members of the party not that intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh well. He's just. Dan, can I use tools? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of just. He looks and then he just pushes and tries to scoot back. Just get the little ones away from me. All right, all right. Tell us where the villagers went. That's just, that's where, just, just, just hold off on the kneecaps for one moment. Oh no, we leave them for last. All right, for second Actually, I have an idea. Then. Hold on. Uh... Malkesh pulls out his gleaming surgical gear from Amboise, uh... Lab. Your scalpel's away for a moment. Just, just. That's hold pretty on. decent roll. Now All she's right, gonna. <clears throat> Gunhill's gonna walk up and, and you know what? If you don't start talking, they're gonna be here all the time. You're never gonna get away from them. I'll make sure of that. All right. Plus, we like to take breaks. They can work in shifts. All right, fine. If you have no intention of killing me, if it leaves your mind, that's that part of the plan wasn't my idea. I would have preferred just go in without any of mission accomplished either way. Sorry, you cut out there. I would have preferred to go in without any evacu evacuation. Mission accomplished either way. Where were they evacuated to? The capital. So they are going to safety. They're not being carted off to some, I don't know, deep underwater laboratory for experimentation? Mother has many connections within the Empire. is not that hard for her to pull off. Especially when it was her request. So they are going to safety and... Or... Are you saying that they're going into mother's hands? Look, if... If no, they were going to safety. If it would have been up... If it would have been up to me, there would have been many more bodies there to distract you, and I wouldn't be tied up like this. Ah! Excellent. That's what I wanted to know. Hmm... I wonder. Okay, this is just me musing out loud here. If that wasn't her plan all along. All right, you're gonna have to roll for that. Charisma-based background check. I'm familying this one. Yeah. This is all fucking family business. Wait, I have a mouse. Yeah! Holy shit. That's what I was hoping for. That'll do. Kind of, kind of sputters and... looks noticeably kind of disturbed at that thought, and it's... 
Well, why not? I mean, Nyla was sent after me and you saw how well that worked out. And then you next with almost no real backup and a plan to evacuate villagers instead? I think you've both been set up, darling. I... It's just... I'm used... I'm, I'm used to working outside of cities and... It was... He's definitely... Definitely kind of disturbed at this thought. Wait... What about Nyla? Oh! Oh, you didn't hear about that. Oh, Nyla was sent to come get me first. It didn't work. Why, why would they send... Why would they send a non-assassin to kill you? You were clearly... I mean, you... You well up to me, you are clearly... Why indeed? It's almost like it was a terrible plan from the beginning in order to get her caught. And he's just... is about to say something, but just... kind of bites his lip and looks down to the floor. Malkesh looks oh, back up. Didn't hear what you said there. Which one? Uh, I didn't. Well, you kind of both talked at the same time. Who's oh. taking an action? I, oh, okay. You you were about to do something. I was just saying. Oh, no, he just bites no, his. No, I, I said you look down at the floor. I said Malkesh looks up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to come that much of an interference. He is visibly shaken and thinking, but he's... He seems to be trying to clam up now. No matter, I guess. You don't even know why you're here. He looks up. We all have missions, and we carry them out. Hmm. Is that all the families come to? Just one mission at a time? Even so recently. And then he goes back to looking at the floor. It doesn't have to be, you know. He's actively kind of trying not to engage. Yeah, fair enough. We found out what we need to. So, no vivo section? No sectioning anything right yet. There's a creak of the door and you just hear Gregory. You guys done with the interrogation? Yes. Seems so. Okay. Um So I was looking into booking passage for those villagers. I'm just wondering how we're going to pay for it. How much are we looking at? Let's see, we've got four people trip. I, it's not, it shouldn't be too expensive depending on how we send them. I mean, I could probably get something as cheap as 10 gold a person or maybe up to 30. I mean, I don't think we need to spend much more than that, but Go for I... cheap but somewhat comfortable. All right, so so try not to try not to send them down the river on the SS Shankme. Got it. Yeah. That ship's still in service.
Hun how looks at Malkesh. Flashing prices lately. It's those unbeatable sales. Yeah, I'm done. Good night, folks. All right, I'll take care of it. Um, and they still have your. He looks to Ferris. Your your dove. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I've, I've also given them a few. I've also given them the information for the Imperial refugee centers they can report to to see if they can meet up with their other the other villagers. That's that's a thing, right? That's that wasn't a lie. Is is that a lie? Am I just gonna look like an idiot for doing that? No. Apparently, they actually were being evacuated towards the capital. Oh. Oh. Nice. Right? So it all yeah. worked out in the end. Well, I mean, they're still mostly homeless, but... Oh, that, that, yeah. You know, it's not all roses and sunshine, but... Well, most of the structures are intact. It's some... I'm sure they can... They burn all the way down. Hmm. I mean, there are a few fixer-uppers left. Look, I stopped a lot of that, Delilah pipes in. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. It's still fire. I mean, there's only so much I can do. I am praising your skills here. Okay. And Gregory goes off. You have a bandit queen to find. Ooh. Oh, oh, and... Definitely making sure their restraints are still good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's... He seems less... Before he was very... It was very clearly, if you were to watch him, a prisoner that's trying to find any opportunity for a weakness to escape. He seems more kind of solemn and lost in thought, right? No more kind of banging against things or trying to rub his ropes up against errant nails or things. Oh, that but, one time we didn't kill the prisoner and I think I still managed to be the biggest bitch of all. Makesh just looks disappointed. We'll find other skeletons to salvage. All right. But yes, for now, Merrick 2 is safe. <laughs> uh, Not again. Don't Every say that. Time. I'll go back and stab him myself. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Not every we just time. adopt these people. Yeah. Sometimes they turn to ash in our arms as we cry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready to bring things down. Real, uh... All right. What do you do now that you're in this city of canals and neon? Um, out of character for a second. Uh, Lizzie might stay on the ship. You're uh, really because... paranoid about somebody stealing the ship, aren't you? I am. <laughs> it's also 11.30, um, and I've got more than I expected to do tomorrow at work, so I might I might leave you guys here. Makes sense no to me. All right. Lissy will mind the ship. I make sure all the... Make sure all the documentation and things are... To deal with the port, she'll she'll hang out and have a good time with Gregory. <laughs> oh, no, man doesn't drink. So you're, you're leaving <laughs> you're leaving me with her. No, don't don't worry, I'll leave Bruno behind too. <laughs> oh, joy. Okay, thank you guys. See you later. Yeah. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Uh, way I see it, there's two routes we can take here can try and track down Z's. I think she might have she might 
make some inroads and made a few deals already. That's actually a really good idea. Or we can find is the seediest bar around. And, uh, and yes, Z's is here. Wow. Or we could find the seediest bar around and just hope that there's some shady people working with the Panda Queen nearby. Yeah, let's, uh... Actually, I, either, either would work. Yeah. How, how do you propose we do that? Just shake people down in alleys or something? That is, no. that is what I wanted to. I'm sure she's just hawking, hawking wares somewhere. A bandit queen is just randomly selling stuff? No, Z's is... Oh, Z's! Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes 100% <laughs> No, we'd be talking about Z's at all there, sorry. All right, which of this plan do you go with, and who does what? Ooh. That's not Malkesh's paw. Hey, Malkesh. That is... Hmm. <laughs> I am really smaller than everyone else. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and second. All right, you talk, and I'm going to fix this. Uh, yeah, I guess there's no real sense in all of us going down one route. Yeah. Anybody wants to hit up... Oh, hello. Oh, now he's bigger than all of us. Giga Malkesh! Bum, bum, bum. Well, I mean, I gotta... I'm gonna try to find a book, but, you know. We can do that while we go to find book. shady people. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go anywhere that gets me off this damn water. <laughs> to the bar. I hate to say this, but you're kind of surrounded. <laughs> Don't remind me. To the bar, then! Alright. Group that go to the bar. You're able to find uh, a much... Much to Hunhau's dismay, you discover that there's really not a whole lot of roads in this town. Uh, the whole thing is kind of built through kind of a network of smaller rivers and canals that go between kind of city blocks. There's lots of walking room, but you'll have to cross bridges, and every now and then you just pretty much hear... You essentially hear kind of the shout of, you know, you see a war forged in like a long kind of gondola-type boat with a like a large stick just being, it's like, TAKE YOU WHERE YOU NEED TO GO! Just a few silver pieces, take you where I need to go! And same thing, as you go down, you once again see another mer person. only this one's holding a rickshaw. A floating rickshaw. And it's just... Taxi service! Taxi service! This is an unusual city. This is a very unusual city. I don't really want to go underwater. Ferris has hopped into the rickshaw without really saying anything. Um... Tired of walking. Okay, well, I guess I don't breathe, so... Malkish I'm jumps on the rickshaw. Oh, I'm going to regret this, but at least he's paying for it, and Hanel hops into the rickshaw, too. How many people can we seat? fit in this rickshaw? Uh, we're gonna say that it's... <laughs> it's a plot it's a, rickshaw. It's a very beefy merman. <laughs> um, let's say there's... I mean, it's... Essentially what it is, is a small boat that he is just out in front of, kind of pulling. Alright, well... Uh, you can probably fit... You know what, you could fit four people in it, but Malkesh doesn't count. Wow! <laughs> Malkesh can sit on somebody's too. lap. <laughs> Install a car seat. Someone's just got a baby carrier on their chest, Malkesh just sits in it. <laughs> Actually, I did have a baby sling. While he I was back. Okay, that's the around door. door. 
<laughs> this, is, uh, this is a little heavy. It's going to cost you a little extra. That okay? <laughs> Don't want to gouge you before we take out. Well, how much, how much are we talking here? Oh, I mean, it's like, I'll take... I'm pretty flat rate. Let's say I'll normally do it for two gold. I'll bump it up three gold. If we go to the west... So, yeah, three gold wait, to go, wait, go to the west side. Wait, that guy side. over there wanted silver. Look. It's only a few gold. But, but, silver, but Z's would rip your head off, man. Look, take a look at this. This is the safest possible boat. Did you see that guy? If he fell over, he'd sink. Okay, fall over. <laughs> Trust me. Hey, hey, okay, whatever. Look, as I said, I'm flat rate. Look, he's gonna... I... All right, you're flat rate. What's your what's your rate for the rest of the week? Oh, oh, hey, hey, now we're talking. Yeah, I'll take you wherever you need to go. What? Well, let's say, how long are you here? A week? What do you say, guys? A week? I think yeah. All right. Around that. How much for a week? Twenty gold. Deal. Okay. The okay, goblins are haggling types, but. I'll take it. Listen, it's been a long day, and there were a lot of fish heads. Just get us where we need to go, okay? All right, where are you going? Buckesh looks over to Ferris. The nicest dive bar in town. <laughs> Not dive. Please don't use the word dive. <laughs> okay. Well, there are a few underwater spots, but you guys... Uh... Please, no. We're not the underwater type. No, I could tell by the lack of gills. Okay. Let's see. You know what? I know a spot. And pretty much, uh, you go... You just kind of see, you hear the sound of kind of water beginning to splash, and then as he grabs onto each of the handles, you just immediately go from zero to 60, and you're just kind of powering down the canal. So what brings you guys to the Arahaba? Jet boat rickshaw. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it does bring us here. Business. Business. Okay. Yeah, I, I get it. Hush hush types. We're more hero I, types, but you know what they say. I'd love for one of us to be like, no, 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 no. We're, we're, we're actually here on business. We're, uh, we're, no, I've got nothing. Go into a dive bar here on business. Yes. Look, it's their yeah. time off. What's your name, by the way? Oh, right. Uh, I'm Porter. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I don't know why I expected anything else. Don't worry, Porter, we're not here to cause trouble. Because, you know, it's... I wouldn't expect it, you know, there's there's all kinds, you know... The authorities aren't much around here, especially, I mean, if you're... If you're legitimate business types, I'd watch out for that, but, I mean, everybody has somebody keeping their eyes on them, so... Don't worry about it. And, you know, if you're paying me well... People will be watching out for it. You'll be watched out for. It's good to know. Uh, you wouldn't have happened to run run across Z's the Goblin by any chance, would you? Okay, I don't remember everybody who comes in. It's a big city. Like, describe her. You get a lot of goblins through here? Yeah, it's... Generally, uh, a little bit, right? We've, uh, we mostly get Ockby coming down from Fool's Fall. So a lot of goblins coming from the coming from the mountains do unload some of their uh, more choice wares. I do know where I do know where to find a good goblin market. That's a step forward, wouldn't you say, guys? Yes, probably. I think so. Where there is street. a market, she will be there. Uh, I would not recommend getting drunk and going there. They will smell that on you, uh, very very far away. Yep. 
Yeah, they're pretty good at that. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, the with force you don't expect, the car, the rickshaw just stops. All right. How did you do that in the water? Got a big old tail. That's true. Uh, okay, this is Winston and Vines, one of the one of the least stabby dive bars in this. Not stabby seems like a interesting qualifier. I said that we would get them another stabby, star. Not, on not stabby. Least stabby. I don't want to lead you guys astray. I'm still curious why we had to go to a dive bar. Well, at least he's honest. On how is staring at Ferris? We, look, we need. Look, it's fine. It's not we like there aren't people right. that go to legitimate establishments that don't have information. That's what Out I know, okay? How many not dive bars are there around here? Oh, there's lots of nice places. All kinds of people come up here from, uh, come up here from the city just to unwind. Safer part of town, though. You said dive bar. It's true. He's correct. Oh. All right, Ferris, lead the way. Everyone else take cover behind yeah. Ferris. Yeah. I'll just wait here. Strolls in with all sorts of confidence. I imagine that the piano that is playing immediately stops and everybody stops and stares. <laughs> um, you actually have no attention is paid to you. It is, uh, once again, it's later at night. So uh, this place is a bumpin'. You pretty much just, you see every, like, there is a band playing, there's, there's, you see two dwarves at the bar just slinging ale back and forth. Uh, you see essentially this kind of melting pot of different races and cultures you've come to expect from the Empire. Only it's less, these look more like the underbelly. Like, you see a couple of gnolls, you see a couple of... Uh, you see a couple of rough like, looking half orc or uh, half ogres but everybody seems to just kind of be getting liquored up and mostly minding their own business okay look the way I see it is if, if Casey is assembling an army she's as quickly as she is I'm guessing there's a lot of mercenary types and where else do you find mercenary types and Ferris just kind of gestures over to the half ogres just because they're half ogres doesn't mean they're mercenaries. That's the point. Well, and and I'd go I'd go further from here, but I, I actually do have to bounce, so I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> He's led us in here and then leaves. Yep. <laughs> yeah. He immediately bellies up to the bar and is like, well later guys. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Alright. I think if that's the case. This is a good time to to pause it all for everybody then. We've got two people away. We've got a lead on it. We have some information from Wolfric and we have a goal for next session. Yep. So thank you for watching everybody. Thank you for tuning in to Tinker Bye. Tabletop. Our next yeah. game will be on Tuesday. Tune in if you want to see us kill the fuck out of a pangolin. <laughs> really big. It's a good, it's good advertisement. Like it's not an actual pangolin. No, we will oh, be my. killing an actual pangolin no, live no on stream. <laughs> the only thing we vivisect on these streams are people for information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't even get to torture anybody. All right, thank you for tuning in, everybody. And if you want to watch some torture, tune in on Thursdays. Yeah, that <laughs> that has actually there has been torture on Thursdays. <laughs> oh, just quiet Lord. executions under a table. For the Shield Against Midnight, a Call of Cthulhu game set in 1969 with CIA agents in Vietnam. Yeah, they don't pr they don't pretend to be heroes. No. <laughs> Not even close. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.